This is uh, Wiki Wednesday B, Massive Wiki Wednesday B, on August 18th, 2021. Oh, this is going to be horrible. <laughs> no, I just, I just, you know, well, you computers, about... computers, you got to hate them because, like, much. now that we've had them for 50 years, it's like, is this the best we got? I'm, like, I'm waiting for computers to be trees, or trees and computers to be the same thing. Wow. <sighs> Like, Sorry. I want to be, be in the forest and, and like a real forest, not like a forest made of silicon, but a real forest and have also the, right? Like, then we have less infrastructure because we're just in the forest, but somehow it's also computing. Computing. It's not computing anymore. It's just, it's a yeah. remapping. It's a rewilding of the world with. <laughs> yeah, it works for me. Okay. Because, the you know, the, the server farms are ouch um yeah this was going to take longer because uh, the thing you guys were talking about earlier that's the um that's the group chat thing that i yep. haven't even signed up for okay yep it's on my list to sign up bill shared a file oh you got it all right nice I did it once. I did this because I was teaching about the semantic web and I had a few. I was trying to like, how do you get this stuff straight? And one of my librarian friends were talking about, yeah, it's just strings and things. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, but I don't know if that's yeah. relevant to R because it's kind of basic, but I thought it was kind of, it's kind of, it might be useful. Yeah, it's probably useful. Yeah. Um, Wendy and I are having, uh, I think we meet again today. Then I could probably be showing it to her. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, let me uh, let me try to explain where we got to yesterday. Um, we had to. So this is uh, this is uh, Massive Wiki Wednesday A yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, and what Wendy, Wendy and I have been talking about with the Boisseau stuff and, and things is, uh, how you organize a wiki. Um, and I think Bill, like we've talked about, she's, she's getting back into Obsidian and then she's wondering, you know, the way she's, it's funny, the way she said it is, um, I want to, um, you know, we want to help people have an entry point into a wiki, but what it really is, is she got a lot of stuff on her wall and in her computers that needs to go in a wiki. And she wants to make sure that that's a reasonable place to put it and that she could get it back out reliably. She could find stuff again, basically. So she's, we, she and I are on the, the cusp of this dilemma, which I'm not actually sure is actually even a difference. Um, so that's kind of what we're negotiating through. But what you know, and ontologies and schemas and structures and chunking and naming and linking. Um, Can I just pause you there for a second? Yeah. Um, so when you wrote chunking, naming and linking, I wanted the word branching in there, but I don't know if it belongs. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Let me try to make another page for today's um, It's yeah, really I'm gonna, funny. I'm going to build a little. Uh, I'm going to build a little uh, set of RDF little bands of turtle triples about this stuff. That would be awesome. What does that mean? I mean, so I'm going to put it into semantic web uh, assertions. So we have the relations between the the strings and the things. Okay. Which is like on that page that you sent, which is right. right. Basically, you know, subjects, relationships, predicates. Yeah. So, which I just want to do it because we've been talking about this stuff and it's a way to formalize. And once you formalize it, you can see like what's missing or how it doesn't fit. So it's a good way to learn something. And I just remember when I was teaching, it was useful to take simple things put them into this like weird format and see, you know, force the format, force your ideas into this thing to just see. Right. 
if you get any value from it. Yeah. I used to tell people, I used to sign my emails with triples. <laughs> like Bill now wants a new computer. <laughs> what is a triple? It's this thing that's on this RDF elements. It's uh, the, the basic, one of the basic elements in the semantic web is a set of assertions that are made up of a subject and, and, and a object and the relationship between them. Okay. Now, and they normally call the relationship a predicate and people make the mistake of saying it's just like English, which you have to then go to school with them and say, no, sentences only have subjects and predicates. So, <laughs> so, don't, I, so don't say that. Say we have subjects, objects, and relationships. Um, but uh, they've co-opted the word, and it gets sloppy. So a, a, a triple is uh, trees live in a forest. Yes. Subject you know, relationship. Great. But this thing that the key thing I learned from a librarian friend that's in that thing is this this the primary elements in the semantic bar are these strings. There's only two kinds of things. They're literally like literally strings made up of, you know, words, phrases, sentences, numbers, or whatever. And then there are ontology-based things that have this kind of a URI name. And, and what was the, the strings and things? Strings and things, yeah. And well, it's over and on the right at the top. Primary sem semantic web elements. Strings and things. And then I took this RDF elements from this, uh, actually it was a biologist, Schotten, who did this really nice little layout for librarians about here's what the Here's what linked data is all about. And he just broke it down. Here's what a subject is. Here's what the object is. Here's what the predicate is. And how it's actually defined in a semantic web system. So as you can see, things either turn out being some kind of unique URI, a web resource, or they turn out to be some kind of literal thing in between double quotes. You know, like quote the tapestry hanging on my wall. <laughs> Whatever. Um, and like for me, this helps you get them when people when people are talking about ontologies. You know, once things are defined, they're going to have a URI, which you know, kind of as, as uh, you can point to it. It exists on the web. Now, if you can really find it on the web, it would be a URL, but nonetheless, it has this funky kind of address. Um, so I, Wendy kind of, so she's, uh, the paper she's excited about, or the paper she's, uh, we are doing inquiry on, I guess is another way to say it, um, uh, is this one resolving semantic heterogeneity in schema integration and an ontology based approach? So let me open I wish, this. Yeah, I wish she would have. I kind of wanted her to send me the paper. I said, I'd be help, glad to help you read, but she never sent she, a link. I would oh. just. Can you, can you send a link now? Um, yes. Um, it's a public paper, right? It's out on the web, or do I have to yeah, write to the, the authors? Yeah, the thing I was wondering. Um, Hang on just a sec, let's, oh, this is a private one, so. <laughs> Michael's wondering where, um... where. Where are we? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what, uh, I, I actually, the, the reason I hesitate a little bit is because I've, I actually did a good job of getting this into the wiki that, that Wendy and I have um, nice. uh, yesterday and, and the intent was to get, to get some of that stuff moved over to, I guess, the conversations wiki. Um, so, so maybe I, we could do that a little bit. So there's other papers that begin with those three words, it turns out. <laughs> I'm sure there are. <laughs> There's, 
and I looked at some of the notes you posted in the Mattermost. So I went the little yeah. excerpt about data and knowledge and yeah. which, you know, I'll accept those definitions, but I don't agree with them. So at least I'll just say that actually bumps into an quote as the word, an image I have of this conversation space. Yep. Um, so ideally, I guess I don't even have uh, the conversation. So there is a conversations wiki, um, or at least a repo for it. Um, and I've got it open on Obsidian on my computer, but but it doesn't have a website yet. So if the website were hooked up, I would probably just try to put it there. But I found let me it. put. I found it. Let me put it here. Oh. You find a link for it. Yeah. A public link. Yeah, good. Even better. Drop it into the chat. Just did. She did. Or, oh, good. They did. Hey, thank oh. you. Mm-hmm. So um, let me scroll down to one of the figures here. Uh, this shows two ontologies and an emerged ontology. Oh my God. Heavy oh. category, heavy math in there. Do you know what? Do you know what I meant to? What I couldn't, I couldn't get the word in my head. Category theory, right? Merging. Mm -hmm. merging. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Connected for sure. Because that's all about relationships. Right. And things yeah. that are separate but actually comparable somehow. Um, yeah. Uh, yes. And hierarchies of relationships. I mean, it's not like I understand category theory, but I, I like the idea of it. Yeah, it's uh, I've had to listen to a couple of talks by some mathematicians Me about too. it. Yeah, well, then they for some reason it sounds simple on page one, and then it's like, what? Right. <laughs> hey, Michael. Hi, Michael. Hello, Michael. Uh, so these are well, so the, the paper basically says. You know, uh, um, yo, uh, if we have two schemas and we call them ontologies, then we can map the ontologies to each other. It's like, um, so the, so Wendy's, Wendy's gut feel is that there's something useful in this paper. And my gut feel, um, more or less, is that they don't say very much. Um, <laughs> uh, and, and then kind of further, you know, uh, where we got to yesterday, and I think we, we ended up agreeing that um, for uh, either for a, a very, I, I ended up calling these, what, what they call ontologies, I ended up calling um, shapes of knowledge or something like that. Um, and for something small like this, ontology is a perfectly fine word. But uh, if you were imagining Jerry's brain or Wikipedia, something with tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of nodes, um, for me, that's in a, in a graph. You know, you, it's hard to make an ontology, ontology for um, a graph network of a, a few hundred thousand things. Um, uh, if if they're of different kinds of different kinds of things, uh, you know something like um, I have a employee directory and it's got two hundred thousand entries in it, then you can go, yeah, some employees are chiefs, some are workers, you know, some are managers, some are some some are technical staff, some are HR staff. You can that's you know you can develop a schema for that, um, but if it's lots of different things like one hundred thousand nodes of Wikipedia. Um, you don't get the, you, you don't end up with a schema or an ontology, which I guess, unless you do something like Library of Congress definitions, um, and then, you know, you could Library of Congress the whole thing. Um, and actually, this is maybe a good, a good example of something is mapping, you know, can you map um, 100,000 books from Dewey Decimal to Library of Congress? And, you know, 
but anyway, I, for for something interesting, interesting chunks of knowledge like Jerry's um, the brain. Um, uh, my assertion was kind of like these these schemas or ontologies aren't very useful and aren't very practical. And of course, you can map one schema to another schema, um, but only for small small schemas. So Wait, if you want to. Why is it only for small schemas? Um, uh, so there's there's a guy we know um, uh, named Jerry Mikulski. Let me try to bring up. A... And I'm sorry if that's like a super everybody knows the answer to that question. No, it's actually no. A very, I think on this particular useful. conversation, that's kind of the crux of the question. So yeah, and that, that little thing that I posted has a you know. Deborah McGinnis's little thing about it. here's what an ontology is composed of. Oh, look at that! That's fun. Oh yeah. Um, we um, uh, we're we're all friends of Jerry, um, and Jerry uses software that looks like this. This is just a picture of it. Um, I could launch a, a web version of it, and I'm not sure it would be super useful to you, or yeah, super useful to I'll us. I'll click it out later. Um, click when you do click this um and then you'll get to see a web version of his thing uh this picture is of the the desktop yeah. version um the desktop version is better um it's got the same information it's just faster to navigate around the, the desktop um so anyway uh jerry's got a few hundred thousand of these uh four hundred thousand um of these uh headlines and they're all linked together in different ways in a graph so um so now i think i do have to launch this because i want to look for something um so one of the good things jerry has been using the software for about 25 years and he's been using the same software building the same database uh, so it's a very large and well connected graph network um that has lots of stuff and if i wanted to look for let me pick a kind of an obscure piece of of knowledge that Jerry might have mapped. So um, I am imagining that the visual of this has also evolved over twenty five years. Uh, no. No. Um, the basics are like this. Uh, and another thing that that happens um, is that. Um, it's funny, I found a place that's, that's kind of sparse here. Let me look for a little bit more. Um, look for deforestation. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, uh, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, there's another database using the same technology uh, called the Climate Web, um, okay. which is another database of you know, hundreds of thousands kind of, of things. Stuff, you mean the survival of our species in any given ecosystem? I'm sure. What's it called? The climate? Uh, the climate web. Okay. Yeah, if you do the, I think I did the climateweb.org. Let me try that again. Um, there's a, a difference, um, and actually this is almost a better place to do DS deforestation, except I think I tried that recently. Actually, I was searching for reforestation. Um, oh, yeah. That's great. Uh, and um, the, the, the pr proposition was, uh, in, you know, probably last week in a call, um, hey, why don't we just try to pr uh, plant lots of trees, right? Trees are good at sequestering carbon, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, um, the, uh, two, two or so people have built this database and there's a um, few hundred thousand thoughts in it. Jerry does an interesting thing and in his thoughts, um, uh, this is a little bit of an oddball because there's actually a YouTube thing, but in his thoughts, most of them don't have anything except connections. Um, the software lets you. Uh, um, the software lets you put notes in here, and Jerry almost never puts notes um, because he can kind of remember it. He uses um, 
he uses his the brain software uh, as a um, more or less a knowledge process to remember the things that he remembers. Yeah. And so he can navigate through any of this and tell you a lot of stories about what could be in the notes. He just doesn't keep the notes in here because it would take too long to, to do that. Um, the climate web is different. Um, uh, everything has notes and they're quite deep and and together, this whole knowledge base is like a combination of uh, um, a graduate level college course and, and an MBA and, uh, you know, it, um, it's very, it's very deep and very rich, full of stuff. Awesome. Thank you. Um, but the general, the general conceit, uh, Jerry has a very specific way that he uh, organizes these these things so upper as are more general things and lower is more specific things um uh, and then these are things that are kind of related uh so you can pick a, a random topic here and then get to other topics like so jim robbins is an expert about deforestation and, and or drought um and then if i click on jim robbins um uh it turns out that they're a New York Times reporter who's written different kinds of interesting things. Um, and then other New York uh, reporters are, you know, these folks, and there's a whole bunch of them. Um, so anyway, back to Rimmer's question, which is why can't you just map this to that? Um, uh, so imagine there's 400,000 things in here, right, of all different shapes and sizes and connections and things like that. Um, if I go over to Wikipedia and search for deforestation, um, I hope this will work for folks. Let me switch back to Jerry's brain. So, um, offhand, I don't know of a good way to view Wikipedia as a graph, but we can do a cheat a little bit. Um, we can at least click what links here, so you can see half half the direction of the graph. You know, what are the things that link into deforestation? And it's kind of what you would expect, right? Mm -hmm. um, so let's go back here. And maybe I'll go up from deforestation and drought to actual deforestation. Um, uh, so the the, the question that we proposed ourselves or the, the thought experiment we were doing was, can we take Jerry's map and map each of these things to the Wikipedia map? Um, and there's some interesting things to note here. Um, uh, neither of these, both of these are, are organized as a graph. So neither of these has an ontological structure like the Library of Congress uh, categories um, or the mesh categories, actually, mesh categories are maybe even better than um, Library of Congress. Uh, mesh are, someday, someday uh, remind me to go back and, and think about um, comparing MeSH and uh, Library of Congress. Uh, MeSH is used for um, PubMed, uh, the National Institutes of Health um, data, bibliography, essentially. It's a huge database of all the, all the medical papers um, and how they're linked together. Um, and uh, it's got a really good uh, ontology of, you know, how you look up, like if I wanted to look up cancer you know, cancer of the toenail or something like that. Um, I would be able to find the right ontological place for that kind of thing, right? And then, and then I could do the right keyword search in PubMed and get papers that are about the same thing by comparing the ontologies. 
Um, so neither of neither Jerry's nor the Wikipedia is really set up in an ontology, even though I think there's a little bit, I guess there's a, there's some category stuff that goes on with Wikipedia, but, um, but anyway, you know, I want to take, I want to take a uh, fully grown tree releases a thousand liters of water, which in Jerry's map is connected def to deforestation and probably other interesting things like water and drought and whatever. And it's like, so how does that fit over here, right? Um, this has got a lot of geographical stuff and some um, physical chemistry stuff. Uh, Right. So I get it. So it's sorted into different concepts and categories that at the moment don't seem to be mappable, even. Well, they're not, they're not easily mappable. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't go to a computer and say, hey, computer, um, Jerry's got 400,000 things. Um, Wikipedia's got, God knows how many, um, you know, I don't know, a, a few million pages or whatever. Tell me how these map together, right? And computer can't really do that very well. Um, we could actually talk about how they could and how they couldn't, but you know, it, it wouldn't do. It would be really rough. Um, so my my uh, my uh, thing to Wendy was that you know this is easy to do for small ontologies. Um, it's hard to do for really large graphs um, and really large graphs would need problem in Wikipedia, you'll end up finding different ontologies, what this paper calls an ontology. You'll find different connections. Um, there'll be a list of all the US presidents um, and uh, you know, like details about what, uh, what political affiliation they have and things like that, um, what order they're in. Um, or if I go to a species of animal like giraffe, um, they're going to have a whole ontology of, of animals um, based on kind of the way that that animals are organized in, you know, phyla and all that kind of stuff. Um, so Wikipedia is a hybrid um, because it's patterned after an encyclopedia and patterned after academic relationships of knowledge. Um, it's picked up these um, ontologies that map it. I forget, I'm kind of a, anyway, so it's, it's not, Wikipedia doesn't have one ontology, it has thousands of ontologies. And some of them are explicit, like this animal one, and some of them are fairly implicit, um, like knowledge representation or something like that. It's going to be kind of, you know, ad hoc. And you can see that there's an ontology based on the way that people have kind of started collecting pages together. Um, uh, is it, is this partly because there's like, it's, there's legacy information sorting, right? So yeah, my, 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 uh, what, what, um, when Wendy and I first started getting into this, she said, Pete, I'm starting a new wiki. I need a way to organize it. And if I look around, Bill, for instance, has started to organize this wiki. Um, uh, and it looks like he's got an ontology. Um, and um, I've got, you know, an ontology. Um, let me bring up my wiki, my personal wiki. Um, and ontology is, is not the right word for, I think, what either Bill or I are doing. Um, yeah, I think I, I would just like to... <laughs> One thing that troubles me here, if we want to move forward, I think we need to agree amongst ourselves how we're going to use the word in the concept ontology. It makes a difference because I get confused from what I know about how the semantic web talks about things and, you know, and tries to create, you know, document relationships among things. So I just, I'm a little, I, it just, I don't know, there's something here that's a, a little troubling for what we're trying to, we could, we could conflate a number of things if we're not careful, I think. 
taxonomy is better in a way than ontology because ontology talks about you know the existence in a domain of things you make commitments that there are these you know objects entities in this domain they exist um, in this domain i mean it's like <laughs> walk in the door and you know it's alice in wonderland in here but still um I, you can see something that I've been doing in wikis um, uh, that I've been I've been creating with Obsidian actually, uh, and I I end up organizing things into folders. Um, so there's meetings and people, um, and uh, this is a a Wendy and Pete wiki, and so we have um, books and meetings and organizations and people and projects and tools and stuff that we should do. Um, same thing with, if I got it open. Uh, same thing with this. Um, if I go to the navigator and click this. Um, I click on a random thing here. Uh, you know, I've got, um, stuff about my health, stuff about a hobby that I really like doing, um, my diary entries, uh, stuff about tech, um, organizations, which I called companies. And then these come in different kinds, people, uh, com companies that are clients, companies that are employers, um, companies that are startups, you know, there's, so I've got, I, I, I would hesitate to call this an ontology or even a taxonomy really. It's, but, you know, it's definitely a higher, hierarchical organization but, the same thing I same thing I have yeah Similar. coming back to Vermeer's question um I, th I think what Bill and I are both doing when we use this kind of structure uh is and it's you asked you asked it pretty well Vermeer, and I don't remember exactly what you said but um we all of us who are old enough to have um grown up with libraries um learned library science and how to navigate uh, physical space to find things um, and physical space things are organized in hierarchies and and positions and and they can't overlap and things like that not very well um, in a graph network um, uh, you we we end up using this structure hierarchical structure as a as a crutch kind of for me it makes me feel safe when I'm putting something in that I can kind of find the right place and kind of put it in a place and I'll probably kind of find it later. Um, my, but, but what I was telling Wendy, if you're starting a wiki, that's really a crutch. Um, and I think the crutch is mostly to make me feel like I can get something in, into the system quickly. Um, uh, there's not really a reason for me to have, I, I guess there is a little bit, um, uh, it's just not good. Employers, this may be better. I don't even know what this is. Um, let me do a different one. Encyclopedia. Um, I could make these in a flat name, in a flat space without this hierarchy, and then represent the fact that. And saying encyclopedia just means I don't know a better place to put it. it doesn't actually really mean anything because this isn't an encyclopedia yet. Um, I just felt like, oh, I should get emergency preparedness away from diary entries and DevOps. I guess the other thing is I've got an, enough um, pages now that um, I have a long list of stuff and I would be scrolling through you know, hundreds of things rather than a few things to browse. But if I had done a better job with my wiki, what I would do is have tables of contents, table of contents pages scattered around. Um, so I would have a top level table of con contents. Uh, this is one of them that I started one day. And, you know, you would just kind of have different a view down from here and then from each place uh, 
you might have a view from Markdown editors up to, you know, other editors or other things about Markdown or stuff like that. So I'm using my wiki poorly um, and I'm using it kind of like an old filing cabinet or an old library, um, but that's an artifact of habit and stuff. It's not really a good way to run a wiki. Yeah, you just gave me an idea about how to make mine better. Woohoo. Do you want to talk think, to it a little better? Yeah, no, I think this idea about we said tables of contents, we've been talking about conversations. I think what I'm going to try experimentally doing is pulling together some of the elements in my wiki by creating a page that is about pulling together the elements in this, these elements in this wiki for the following. Why? Yep. Well, because, you know, it keeps me sane while the world is going crazy today or whatever. So that would then be, you know, covers on this huge heap of individual yep. notes that have some cross-linking, but, you know, generally, I'm doing the same thing you are. I create these diary entries. I clip something from Twitter. I add a little note to it. I take, you know, comments out of books I'm reading, and I put them in with not always, but sometimes a statement about why I put this here. Um but I think trying to, I'm at the point now where I want to actually collect some of that into something more coherent. So I don't, which I think just means making another wiki page that links to those yeah, in the, in the and exposition the way, or whatever. Yeah, the way I think of that exposition is, is uh, it's kind of like you're having a conversation, right? Um, these are how oh, these yeah. things are. These are how these things are organized. And you can have a conversation with yourself, which is really boring. Um, you can have a conversation with your future self or your past self, and that's a little bit more interesting. Um, it mostly gets interesting when you're having conversations with other people. You know, um, trees matter to me, forests matter to me. Forest, you know, there's reforestation and deforestation. And then if we had a conversation and we're writing that down, you know, oh, what, what did we just say about trees? You know, well, they come in forests. Um, and uh, let me try that real quick. <clears throat> well, the way you talked um, about this the other day, Pete, I really agree. I mean, the only yeah. reason I would have the conversation with myself is that the reason I dump this stuff here is that I do want to have the conversation with myself because I yeah. do want to make sense about <laughs> yeah. these pieces I just decided to, you know, collect. Um, um, so but, as soon as you, you're sentences and conversations start having links you know then you can have pages about things um yeah so to me all the mapping is legacy mapping and is therefore in trapping into like this this there's a limitation there that's not that's yeah. actually getting in the way. Yep, I I agree. Um, that's, that's my that's my thing. Like <laughs> that's what I have. Um, I while we were doing this, I and we started talking about tables of content. I think um, I think Nick Milo in his stuff is. Um, uh, he, one of his, uh, Nick Milo has is, is got um, an, a, a, a way to teach people how to use a wiki called uh, Link As You Think or something like that, L-Y-T, Lit, Light. Mm -hmm. um, and a big part of it are maps of content. Um, when I, whenever I bring this up, I have to say, I think that um, Nick has been doing a, an amazing job of kind of helping helping people learn how to use wikis. Um, and I haven't explored his stuff very much. Um, and he sells a course, which uh, it's very pricey. Um, but he's also put a, a good deep chunk of it out in the world. Um, maps of content in particular, I think, come from somebody else actually. Now that I think about it, it was, um, sorry to digress, but um, I th Nick Milo hasn't been doing a good enough job of doing this. So I have to do it for him, I guess. Um, 
uh, there's an old uh, wiki theorist, actually, a guy I used to hang out with in, in the wiki world back in the early 2000s. Um, and he has um, a book called How to Make a Complete Map of Every Thought. Um, and he actually came up with maps of content. And I, I don't, I haven't seen Nick Milo make that acknowledgement. I'm not sure that he understands that he he's recapitulating uh, Lion Kimbrough's stuff. Um, this book, uh, so the good news is Lion Kimbrough wrote everything down. The bad news is um, this book is kind of a mess and hard to use. Uh, so, <laughs> so Nick Milo is doing the world a service by digesting things and, and spitting them back out in a way that makes sense. Um, so now that, now that we're here. You're going to put these into the notes from this meeting? Yep. That would be really good because I think I'd like to read some of this because um, I'm really at a stuck point now with how do I move forward. And it would be great if we could get the conversations wiki going so we could yep. basically experiment with trying to, you know, co-think about these things or co-wiki them or whatever we're doing. I won't say factor because, you know, there already is. I already am factoring things. So. <laughs> Part of the reason um, uh, Lyon's, Lyon's book is hard to get through is because he wrote it in 2003 um, when the collective collaborative understanding of, of how to link as you think. Um, link, as you, link as you think is also another thing that I feel like uh, Nick Milo kind of borrowed from the past. Um, we used to say that all the time. Um, uh, anyway, the the science of knowledge, you know, knowledge, uh, personal knowledge management and things like that were much less advanced um, and much. So in Nick Milo is standing on the shoulders of giants and Lion didn't have that advantage back then. Um, not that he's necessarily a giant, I guess, I don't know. Um, uh, Bill, for your reference, this is going into the um, uh, sandbox wiki because <laughs> that's still the best place. Um, okay, fine. I'll look for it there. I just, I did something when I was teaching. Bill, do you have another name, Bill Kent? He was the database guy in the early, you know, the CJ date, the early, early, early. Yeah. I like think he might have, everyone only in his life had a, got a bachelor's degree, but he did this groundbreaking work on data, data representations. He wrote some fantastic papers like, you know, the many forms of a simple fact, which shows 23 ways in the database to say the same thing. And uh, he wrote another, he gave a talk at the XML 2003 conference, a keynote called the unsolvable identity problem, which I'll post the, the link. I have that on Figshare, a big mind map of it, but it was just, you know, librarians I showed it to when I was showing it to the students, they said, Oh yeah, we know some of this. I'm like, well, I knew you would, but <laughs> <laughs> um, but it gets to some of this, like you know, the issue about him. About he did this all his life. How are you going to determine two things are identical? Yep. And once you decide on how you're going to like classify things, well, the person sitting next to you agree with you. Yep. <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna demo something crazy here. Uh, and I, I feel naughty doing it. Um, but uh, but it was something that I started doing a little bit with Wendy yesterday. And it was like, you know, I want to capture this, but I don't want to like figure out how to like link everything right now. So I'm literally just going to screen cap it and drag it into Obsidian here. And then it has this horrible name. Um, and I realized that uh, one of the cool things that that uh, Obsidian does is <clears throat> when you drag a, an image in like this. So by the way, if you're marked on hip, this looks like a picture. <laughs> 
Um, and if you're not, it doesn't look like a picture. Uh, so it's going to look like that um, mm -hmm. most of the time. Um, but anyway, uh, it's dragged this this file name in with, you know, it, this is a perfectly good name for my screen grabber uh, to, to use because it's unique and descriptive of what I did, um, but it's not descriptive of what it is. So all I have to do is go over here and change this name um, to uh, uh, Bill, Bill Kent. Did you say Bill? Bill people? Kent. Yeah, it was generally. Yeah. My colleague and I used to constantly say people, you know, the system needs a Bill Kent intervention. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like to go overboard with the, my names. So now I renamed that and um, Obsidian was smart enough to rename it here too. Uh, so I like that about I me and Obsidian is really good about that stuff. Yeah. Um, and so while we're, so this feels naughty to me because what I did was just really from a data perspective, it's really bad kind of. Um, uh, because I put a bunch of text in here, but I put it in as an image. So somebody's going to go have to OCR that or type it. And by the way, nowadays, um, uh, uh, your life is easier if you are you have a tool that captures uh, text. So this is an image, right? Um, but I just did an image capture OCR all in one thing. And so um, I guess I want to go back to this page. Um, so nowadays, you, you're, it's easy on your computer to highlight a thing and turn it into text on your clipboard. Um, uh, this tool is Text Sniper, um, which I really like. And my, my screenshot tool threatens to do that now, too. Uh, it's got a capture text thing, which I haven't really tried. This is clean shot. Um, anyway, so it's uh, so I you know so I dumped an opaque thing, an image in which we're gonna have to take apart later. This is a big binary, um, so now this is I don't know how big it's gonna be, um, but it's a lot bigger than all the text, and so that's another sin. Three hundred ninety k. That's a lot of ASCII, um, and it's. Anyway, but maybe I should get over that because uh, um, because that kind of like quick and dirty stuff works. It also it also does a thing of storing for you that snapshot in time because in five years when you Google do the same Google search, you're going to end up with a different yeah mm -hmm. yeah for what I mean I don't that's know Google, that's but... partly why I was so careful to put a date on that on that time on that uh, file. Uh, because someday, yeah, mm -hmm. someday in 10 years, it would be fun to see, oh, wow, look what Google, what the Google search was back then. So I'm going to do this uh, here, too. That was one of the things I was teaching this course on scientific data. There was a great Google search resource about uh, a certain kind of metrics. And I made students do it. Every year, we did the same search and compared results. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, thanks for letting me um, natter on and on. <laughs> uh, we didn't get to do the conversation wiki, um, and we're about to be in overtime. Well, I think okay. I'd like to. I'd like to. With maybe in the next week, we could. I'd like to move forward with what we're trying to do here, and I think trying to get into the conversation about ontology, schema taxonomies. I know it's going to be messy because everybody wants to have, you know, the one definition to rule them all. It's like, I don't know if I thought Tolkien put it, put it, you know, stake to the heart of the one ring idea. Can we just... When he, when he and I are past that part. Okay, um, good. And the part that we're up to is we spent a couple hours talking about <laughs> all of that yesterday. Um, and we 
promised ourselves that we that would digest it and share it out a little bit. Um, but That'd be great. So now I feel like the problem is the we've got a pretty big conversation and it takes a while just to go through the conversation. Um, but but I, we we're making progress and. And I think if we could get the conversations wiki up and start trying to use it, even though we don't really know what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's research right there. Yep. <laughs> trying to discover what we're trying to do. I think it would, that would be really salutary. And it could be really frustrating because, I mean, I really do not know how I'm going to progress with all the stuff I've been collecting, but I do want to progress. Yeah, I, I, and I, I, you know, I'm kind of at a, at a, at a wall here. I'm like, yeah, okay, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, thinking back to the way you, we used to wiki together at Social Text, um, I, it, it felt easy and fun rather than scary and not fun. So, mm. um, just a little bit of show to tell. This is the conversations wiki as it as it stands. Um, this is, you know, this is actually from the template and that's the only page. So there you go, it exists. <laughs> um, Bill, I'll send you an invite to the repo. Um, but uh, it's, I, you know, I guess the next thing I'm going to do hopefully is take some of the conversation that Wendy and I had yesterday and start putting pieces of it um, into the conversation wiki. Yeah. I think that would help because that little note I left in the massive wiki yeah. stream about if we're going to do this thing, then we should really talk about if yeah. we're having conversations, what are these things? And if we're going to make an ontology, then we're going to make a commitment to a thing called a conversation yep. and it's going to have properties or something the, Just, um, you know, distinguishable for something else. That's not a conversation. The, the challenge I felt yesterday um, starting a con starting a conversation or whatever, you know, it's like, okay, well, I, I, I started typing this sentence out and it got about halfway through and Wendy and I were off and talking about a whole bunch of other stuff. So I finally kind of came back and, and finished this and this was not a link. And so then I found the paper and linked it and, and you know, but where do you, you know, where do you start a conversation? And like Wendy and I started like four, 10, you know, I don't know how many conversations um, and you know it's hard to keep up on in text um, and I guess which I don't know maybe that's not surprising um, the thing that I really like about wikis and conversations is that they're persistent and they can be really long lasting um, so back in social text days, a, converse, a conversation on the wiki was going on, you could watch it, but it was taking, you know, weeks, literally. And, the, and that sounds boring or scary or frustrating or something like that. It was actually a lot of fun because you have multiple conversations going, kind of like we do in Mattermost. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit slower than Mattermost, a little bit more cohesive, a little bit, you know, and, and, and growing over time, especially Mattermost, for all the stuff that we're getting through it, it doesn't accrete very well, right? So hopefully we'll start to accrete better with, mm. with the wikis. No, I, well, for me, that's the reason to do it. Yep, thanks back to me too. Um, which is why I want to it just get, you know, get into doing whatever it is we're going to learn to do. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's more fun with more people. Yeah. And one person isn't very much fun. Um, Although I do laugh at my own jokes, which my wife says, I just can't, whatever. <laughs> that is so lame. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, other stuff we should talk about? Same stuff we should talk about? I was just going to mention that um, on Factor, I created a uh, Merge an event sense making group that I invited Pete, you and Bill to, and I would be happy. If you're not not on factor yet, I don't think, but um, but I can I can send you an email to invite you to it and set up an example of a hydrant stream that is just pulling in CDC the CDC's RSS feed and uh, mm. um, the um, and SIDRAP. SIDRAP, yeah. Um, and and I, 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 
going to look for some others and any, any ones that you can think of you want to add, you'll all have admin privileges to do that. And just is, for another. Is, um, uh, is the intent of that one to be uh, Delta Surge or is it or is it generally EES? So would you um, put well, that, Afghanistan that, stuff in there or not? Um, say that again. Uh, would you put Afghanistan stuff in there or not? You mean just new I, Afghanistan so, or, or stuff? So I um, so I know this is inscrutable. I apologize. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, there are there are actually two things that we've got. Well, actually, there's a superset. I guess there's a superset and a subset. Delta surge is actually a subset of EES, and I've I've clustered right. it, cloistered it out separately. And then right now we're using the the main EES channel for overflow stuff like Afghanistan, for instance. Right, right. So the EES group, I called the group EES just so it could be whatever you wanted it to be, yeah. um, and um, and then I called this stream. Um, gotcha. Corresponding to yours, DS dash three Q twenty one yep. automated feeds. So it's just yep. you know, it doesn't muck up the fire hose. It's it's just okay. That's great. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Perfect. Yeah. Uh, Remember, you want any unpacking of any of that, or <laughs> uh, you're muted, unfortunately. You're muted. I was. My attention was elsewhere, so I missed it. Ah. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll catch it on the recording sometime. Sounds good. Um, thanks, Michael. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, should we wrap for the day? I mean, yes. This was really interesting. Thanks, all. Looking forward to more progress. <laughs> so, so, should I dump my little uh, introductory thing somewhere? Uh, in conversations, do you want in the conversation? Okay, do you want to? Oh, maybe them? I should put it there. Right, I was thinking yeah. rather than the matter most. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll start a conversation in the conversation wiki. Yeah, um, I'll invite you to the repo, and I'll also set up a Netlify for it. It doesn't have a Netlify yet, but I'll do that. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Thanks all. Yeah. Be well. That was fun. <laughs> It was, yes. Yeah.